The Flux model is out and this is the SD3 we actually wanted. Hello my friends, how are you doing? Today I'm going to show you how to run the demo online and how to run it locally with all of the files of course inside of ConfUI. Let's get started. So first of all, let's look at different sample images of what makes this model so awesome. Here we have images from my amazing mod Olga on my Discord. Discord is linked below. As you can see here, you get a lot of very nice details, lots of texture in there, very nice work with the depth of field. Next image, you can see very nice detailed characters, looks very beautiful. You get again, as I said, a lot of details in these images, also different kind of styles. And it is also very good with text. You can see here we have two different speak bubbles and it actually also makes sense from the conversation. The characters look at each other, although they kind of look at the speech bubble, but you can see it's very good with text. Here we have other examples with text by Insectagon, really cool. Also a member of my Discord channel. You can see even multiple texts work very well, multiple words work very well. And you have the nice print style, but also photographic style. And this didn't work at all with Stable Diffusion 3. The woman lying in grass created really bad results. But with this new model, as you can see, we get really beautiful results. Also, the hands look good here. You can see how beautiful the sun is shining through the hair. Everything looks good. And like I said, depth of field here, really nice. Here we have other examples for a very nice landscape. So there's a lot of different styles and abilities that this model has. Again, the text is really good. Here we even have different text colors. And as you can see, also the typing is very nice. So this model is very capable. And one thing it can do especially good, I feel like, is characters. You see here this kind of analog style that really feels like a screen cap from an analog film, lots of details in the hair, nice skin detail, nice also reflections on her armor. So that is very cool. And it is really good with the different details and this kind of soft light. I feel like the light values, the color values are much more cinematic, look a lot more like we have with Mid Journey, for example. So this has really a lot of advantages. Here again, very, very nice model. Like I said, characters work very well. This is much more fantasy inspired, more of a digital art style. And again, looks really good. Here we have more characters. Again, the depth of field is good and the colors are just so nice. You feel like you almost don't have to edit anything afterwards in Photoshop or Lightroom because these already look like professional images. That is very good. Also, the materials look very nice. So there's a lot of interesting things. Now, one thing you can also see here is that different image ratios work very well. You see here this very wide format, very nice, beautiful. Also, again, the colors, the mood of the fog in the background, everything works very good here. Here we have these kind of, how can I say, lizard alien monsters. But again, the skin texture has a lot of detail. So that is very beautiful. The composition is nice. And there's a lot of depth of field in all of these images, so it's really interesting. Here we have another one of this Mecha. Uh, what are these, the Autobots or something like that? I'm not quite sure what this is. Oh, Gundam. I think this might be Gundam. Not 100% sure right now, but the surface material looks like a close-up of a painted miniature model with this kind of grainy texture on the helmet. But very cool, really nice. And here we have a uh, yarn knitted cat sitting on a yarn ball. Also, again, the material, the colors, everything here feels very good, has a lot of details in there, even without upscaling, even without refining. All of that is in there. Here we have a very nice monster, very good composition. So this also is better with composition like the mid journey models are. And as you can see, what I like here is that this is off center to the side, which often with stable diffusion is a problem where everything happens in the middle. But of course, off center composition makes the scene more dynamic and the interaction between the monster, the two characters walking there, and then also the moon with 
the shadow on the ground is really, really nice. Here's another example of a close up of kind of a mechanical millipede or kind of an insect. So that looks also really nice, really cinematic. So we have very good examples here. We have the Grand Theft Auto logo, which looks surprisingly real. It's really crazy. I can almost not believe that this has been done with the new Flux model. It's really crazy how well this came out. And here we have another character. Again, the sharpness, the crispness of the detail, the amount of the detail and how well the details work together is really stunning with this model. And here we have another one that is very cinematic. Again, the depth of field is so nice where she has a little bit of that fern in her face. She's sitting in between, but everything works really well. The camera perspective is also nice. And the way the focal length works here is also very good. It feels very real. That is very, very amazing. Here we have another example of a text that's actually bending around an arm. So that's also interesting. Not just does the text work, but it can bend around shapes. It can stick to the surface in a believable way. So now let's check out how you can actually use that. Now, if you don't have the strongest graphic card, because this needs a lot of memory, you can use the online demo for that, which works very fast. It works very good. You have different settings down here also for the size that you can use for the steps you want to use. And also, as you can already see here, the Flux One Schnell model, which means fast, it's the German version for fast, can get away with four steps, which is pretty cool. Although the model is so big that probably for you, this is still locally meaning around a minute of render time or more. Now, next, let's talk about the setup here. We have here a link for the open art workflow. I would suggest you start with that. It's a simple flux workflow that you can use to get started right away. You have here some description about the different models, where to find them, where to put them into the ConfuI folder. So check that out. Make sure that you read through that. And then down here, you have the workflow. You can look at that. I would highly suggest that you update ConfUI uh, before you use that workflow. Of course, the download button is up here. Download is, of course, for free. And then also here, I want to show you the models directly where you can find them. Here we have the Schnell model you want to download. FB8, it has about 12 gigabytes, so these are pretty big. These are also pretty slow to load into your VRAM. I think with the 12 gigabyte card, you can get away with that. I think people have said they use that. I have a 4080 with 16 gigabytes, which can handle that, but it is pretty slow for the loading. And then if you have another graphics card, maybe with 24 gigabytes, maybe an older graphics card, you might even have a faster render time. So lots of VRAM is pretty good for this model and still it's going to be kind of slow. Another thing you need here is the VAE for that. You can rename that file down here. I called mine Flux VAE, so it's easier to know that this is only for the Flux model. This, of course, has to go into the VAE folder. And by the way, let's go back here one tap. This model, the Schnell model, is not going into your models folder. It's pretty important to understand that. Again, look here. You can see the model goes into the UNet folder inside of your models folder because otherwise the node is not going to find that. The VAE is, of course, going into the VAE folder. And then we also need two different clip models for this. And those are going into the clip folder inside of the models folder. So here, we have the clip models you need to download. You need the clip underscore L safe tensor model. And then you also need the T5XXL FB16 safe tensor model. This has another 10 gigabytes. You can try with the T5XXL FP8 model. Personally, I found that the images are not as crisp. They don't have as much detail, but of course, you have to see what your hardware can handle. So you can download both of them if you want to and experiment with that. OK, so when we have the workflow loaded inside of ComfuI, this is the exact workflow you find on OpenArt. Then over here, after you have loaded your models, if they don't show up here, 
you might have clicked here on the right side on refresh. And also, like I said, you have to update Conf UI. So you want to go maybe here to the manager, click on that, and then click here on update all. Wait for that restart Conf UI. Okay. So after this is done, you can see here I have here the Flux One Schnell model. The weight is on default. I have as the Clip One my T5 XXL FP16 model. I have my, my Clip Two, the Clip underscore L safe tensor model the type is flux and then down here i renamed the vae to flux vae safe tensor then one thing you want to do down here is you can see here we have the k sampler as uni pc bh2 i have the scheduler as sgm uniform with four steps denoise one of course here you can set the size you want to have to check that out and of course, I would highly suggest that you join my Discord because there is a lot of people who already have a lot of experience. So that's basically everything you need to know about the new Flux model. Check it out. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you want to see more than that. And see you soon. Bye.